Hello, I'm Mike Zima and welcome to this Shopify marketing tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to set up Google Ads conversion tracking for a Shopify store. There are a few ways you can track conversions back into Google Ads accounts. In this video, I will walk you through the setup process using Google Analytics. At this point, you should already have your Google Ads and Google Analytics accounts set up, configured, and linked together. If you haven't done it yet, please refer to our previous guides. You can find the links here below in the description. So come on, let's go. Step one, create goals in Google Analytics. Click the admin toolbar and under views, select your main property view. And this is where you'll see the goal. Go ahead and click it and you'll be prompted to create a new goal here. You have to create this for your business. A tip is you can create goals for every time someone makes a purchase, adds products to a cart, visits a specific page, and reaches shipping information, newsletter confirmations, or any type of thank you page on your website. You have to have Google Analytics installed in the first place, and you also have to plan what your custom measurement goals are. Step two, open conversion page in Google Ads. Go to your Google Ads account and click Tools and Setting. Under the measurement tab, you're going to choose conversion. Since this is a new account, I only have the conversion option. Step three, import your Google Analytics goals into Google Ads. Click plus to add new conversion actions. Choose import and select Google Analytics. And this is going to be the UA or Google Analytics three and click continue. Now you'll have the recently created Google Analytics goals and e-commerce transactions in your Google Ads account. This will allow you to have a full picture of your ad campaign performance in both Google Ads and Google Analytics accounts. So make sure you select them and import and continue. And that's it, you're done. You've imported your Google Analytics goals into Google Ads. Let's continue. Step four, configure conversion windows and attribution. Click on the goal title and go ahead and press edit settings and set up a click through conversion window to 30 days and attribute the model to last click. And you can see this is already set up for this e-commerce conversion tip for e-commerce conversions count every conversion for leads and calls count conversions once. Step five, split macro and micro goals. You only want to count macro goals in Google ads. So only macro goals should be included. Go to the goal setting edit and select or unselect include in conversions for micro goals and select include in conversions for macro goals. So I'll look at the view sugar one first. And when I go in here and edit it, I can see if I want to count it as a conversion. I can see if I want to include it in conversion. So I can deselect this and I can save this and then it's going to be done. Tip macro goals equals phone calls, lead forms, e-commerce transactions, micro goals equal newsletter signups, YouTube video views, page views, add to cart. Step six, check if transactions are being recorded for Google ads. Underneath the tracking status in your Google ads conversions, you should see either recording conversions or no recent conversions next to each action. Tip, if you see the above mentioned statuses, it means that the conversions are set up properly. And if you see unverified next to the conversion action, it means you might have made a mistake when setting it up. Now that you have a proper conversion tracking in place, you'll be able to monitor your future ad campaign performance and be sure your advertising efforts will not go to waste. Stay tuned for our next tutorial on how to create Google Ads audiences and set up your first Google Ads search campaign. 
Thank you for watching the Shopify marketing tutorial. Every day we're posting new videos and we're investing hundreds of thousands of dollars to make content exclusively for you. So be sure to subscribe and share this on your social networks and let the word out. The best marketing content is found on Zima Media.